Hey everyone, Kyle once again. Hey, welcome back to the next uh, <clears throat> preview discussion. Next up, episode 11 of Battle of the New Moon Part 2, the preview. Yeah, below, once again, sorry I've been a bit late on this one because, again, been busy, so I didn't have time for so. But anyway, talking about the preview now. So, um, discussion about on the pre on the next preview, uh, part two, like I said. Um, first, we have starts off with the next uh, shot. Uh, the first we have the first shot here of of Sashomaru once again looking at Rin inside the Tree of Ages. It's still uh, glowing uh, red since the whole tie has been cut between Ses and the Dream Butterfly. So, um, so it's still red, and Sashomaru is still looking at her. Although he kind of looks, although he kind of does a little bit more sadder. Well, his face has always been kind of the same, so maybe because you know, well, we know he's he's changed throughout the whole throughout this series. So I'm making sure he does probably is deep inside. He's probably is probably sad. So, but anyway, yeah. Next, we get a look at the once again of that uh that Yeti demon in the monk uh you uh outfit talking uh with uh, those little snow beasts. And also, we have Setsuna narrating this episode this time, saying that it's her it's her first time experiencing the new moon. Um, we have Hisui looking over the plans that uh, that um, uh, Setsuna gave her, probably you know just in case when, because you know since she's a uh, human for the night, so she gave Hisui the the some uh, countermeasures in case what what happens, since you know she, since she can't really fight in her human state. Um. And then, and then we have uh, Anayoshi uh, using that um, that mini galaxy we, that we saw earl we saw earlier. What now? The Toa human Toa is now there with when when they wish it was teleported thanks to uh, Zero. And this bug's been placed on her now, which is which I said was the what Moraha um, Cessna was narrating said Toa be careful of the the eternity 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 bug. So this um so this thing's been placed on her so it's I guess it's called an eternity bug so I don't know how that thing's gonna do what 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 could it do what could it do to, to Toa not sure yet and then we could then we go back with um well with back with Morha's so this is gonna once again it's gonna be another uh multiple character group jumping back and forth here the next episode but then we have what that the elder Shogun saying that, um. How uh, Moraha should uh, use Takashiro's help to counter the Shogun's world reversal technique. The world reversal technique was when, when um, you know, when Moraha was uh, when she used her ba uh, used the backlash wave, and then that Shogun turned used that some power to turn that against her, make her do the t team rocket blasting off with him with her and Takashiro. So yeah, that's the thing. So how to her, how to you how to counter that uh, that ability. And it looks like Maha's on Takachio in his little form, transform, and then all the other uh, with Hachi and uh, Takachio's brothers there, and all the rest of the raccoon dogs are there, like having like the support of Moroha, having the support of Moroha. And also we have Moroha uh, holding Takachio's brother as well. That's that's. That is kind of a cute thing, right there. And then we have Takamuro, um, who was so uh, in the previous episode was sent, you know, to ask for Sango or Moroku for advice or help, whatever. And he's literally he's come back with a message. You know, Takamuro was that was that flying hawk. I, 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 if I didn't mention that, I, I apologize in the previous episode. And they have this shot of of Moroha using her bow and arrow. Nice, nice good look shot there. Kind of like a way assembling, kind of resembling her mother Kagome in the way, you know that uh, she was she's using her her shot. So that's a nice good looking shot of Moraha with there, using her bow and arrow. Um, then we have and then we have with uh, Toa, as with to uh, human Toa, be, uh, with all the butterflies around her. So yeah, so I wonder how she's gonna get out of this because now she's her her human form has been exposed. To uh, Hana Yoshi and Zero, so and now she has an eternity bug that's put placed on her. I'm not quite sure what that how what's the gonna what's gonna do to her. So, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see though. So yeah, once again, a little late on this on this preview discussion though, but uh, 
try to get better on on the on the day next time because you know once again busy you know busy with work and all that stuff and plus I'm uploading I'm doing more movie reviews so I got uh, that on top of to do so but hey but that's the preview dis that's the next preview discussion on episode 11 uh part two of Battle of the New Moon. So can't wait for that. And it looks like it's kind of a lot more act has more action in it too, but which is good enough too. So more action, which is good enough for me. So looking forward to it. So thanks for watching it. Stay tuned for the next uh, movie review, and we'll see you later.